We sat in the information age uh, for the last while. And in that information age, the emphasis was on information acquisition. So acquiring or finding information, analyzing that information, using the information. But it was fairly static way of approaching the uses of technology, actually. We seem to be moving now toward an experience era where the emphasis on, is on experience. And that means we're moving to production with the use of technology tools. So moving a little bit away from com consumption and toward production. And in that case, now we're looking at something that's much more dynamic, not so static. We're actually manipulating. And I think this is particularly true with the touch technologies. So iPads and interactive whiteboards, that kind of thing, any tablet use where we're touching um, and using our hands to help us with our thinking uh, and demonstrate our thinking in dynamic ways uh, is quite a bit different. And so the experience, the actual physical experience of working with the technologies is leading us to a more dynamic, experienced way of understanding the capacities of the technology. And it helps us, again, it's an enhancing feature rather than just analysis. Now it's analysis, synthesis, and production. Technology-infused learning uh, involves what we call a visual affordance. When we think about interactive whiteboards, for example, it's writ large. It is a large space to share ideas. And it's an interesting way to build community when ideas are shared in such a large way. Um, Dave Pratt talks about this, and uh, we have seen it in our own research here in Canada as well, um, in that the focused attention on the interactive whiteboard, and is particularly when it's being used dynamically, helps um, to build some collective meaning making which is um, harder to do in some other, with some other um, lower tech uh, tools. Infusing technology in the math classroom really can support enhanced learning. We need to think about the how factor versus the wow factor. When I talk about how, I'm talking about things beyond engagement. So we can wow students with new technologies and, oh, look at our new clickers, our new whiteboard, our new iPads, whatever it may be. But th that's going to wear off, and it's really, it's a little bit superficial. What we want to think about is how deeply, how students are actually enhancing their learning through the use of the technology supports. Uh, we did a study looking at significant moments uh, of learning with interactive whiteboards, and we analyzed over 650 video episodes of instances where there were significant learning occurring. Over 90% of those instances were positive. That is, that somehow the interactive whiteboard was enhancing the learning through a gesture, through a dynamic diagram, through an opportunity to produce some ideas collectively, through visual affordances and so on.